This is Pak Lee, and you're listening to Math World. Now, here's the question. Can you guess that the human hands depend on certain kinds of flowers? And if it's a famous painting, could be related mathematically? Well, if you have no idea, our question of the day for listener Lucy Warwick in Rhode Island will help you. Miss Warwick asks, I've heard a lot about Fibonacci sequence lately. What exactly is it? For an answer, we contacted Professor of Mathematics, Dr. James Christ. Hello, Dr. Christ. Can you tell us a little about Fibonacci sequence to answer Miss Warwick's question? Well, it's a great question, especially since the sequence is around in so many forms and many people have no idea about it. It's really very intriguing once you're aware of it. First, what the sequence is? It is a series of numbers. And in the sequence, each number is still preceding two numbers. In other words, you add two numbers together to get the next one. Let's look at the start of it. The numbers are 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, and 8. So, if we add the first two numbers, 1 and 1, we got 2, which is the third number. Then 1 and 2 equals 3, which is the fourth number. Then 2 and 3 equals 5, which is the fifth number, and so it continues. So, let's see. Each number it is still the preceding two numbers, and the sequence can just go on and on? Yes, that's right. And what's so amazing about this is the Shrigan shows us the rotten in so many ways. It, um, it appears in the natural world. Natural forms tend to reproduce the sequence. For example, flowers, pine cones, and seashells. Look at the petals of the flower. They are more likely to be five petals than four. The spartan and seashells also involved in the number of the sequence. It's not as easy to see as a real flower, but the measurement of the spiral are number of the sequence. Some people even mention the human hands when talking about the sequence. We have two hands, each of the five five fingers, and each finger have three parts separated by two knuckles. All of these are numbered of sequence. Maybe it's just a coincidence, or maybe not. And it's not just in the natural world, it's also in the art world. It appears in a lot of art. Probably the most famous is the work of Leonardo da Vinci. You see a lot of spirals in his painting, and the spirals are the, the form most associated with Fibonacci sequence. It also appears in music. One of the bars pieces based on the sequence um, in the way the musical pattern repeat. Now it's not clear whether Bart is constantly or not. Hmm, interesting. Who discovered all this? It was discovered by a mathematician in Italy in the early 1200s. His name was Leonardo of Pisa. But he called himself Fibonacci because his father's name was Bonacci. Anyway, he was an extraordinary mathematician who actually introduced the depth of system to other mathematicians at the time. So mathematician has known about the sequence for a long time? Yes. Now your listeners say that she heard a lot lately about the sequence. It seems like the interest in this area kind of comes and goes in popularity. Lately it has been more popular. I think it's great. It's fascinating and is to get people interested in math and numbers than all the better. It is fascinating. Thank you so much, Dr. Christ. You're welcome.